Welcome back to the channel. So this is a new Forza Horizon 4 settings video for the Steam Deck. So my last video, I promised 60 FPS. Unfortunately, I can't promise a stock standard 60 FPS at high settings anymore. The version of um, SteamOS and the Proton versions that have came since my last video landed, which was, oh, that was what, Christmas time last year? So now here we are in July 2023, and I can get settings that, well, as you can see there, they, they are a little bit spiky there, different in the 40s, but mostly in the 60s. And then races, they generally stay in the 60s. So we'll just do this race. I haven't done this race yet, so there's nothing cached, no assets. Oh, apparently I have a cat saying hello. Hello. I'll just go deal with that guy first. So we'll just start this race and I'll show you what I mean. So as you see, if I flick the view around, it will dip, but... It's mostly, well, it's not 60 just now, is it? It's 40. And I think that's just the reality of the updates that have came out in the last seven or eight months. The game has got worse. Which is a shame. Now, you could just go to the lowest possible settings, it would probably run okay. But as I'll show you after this race, I'm running mostly a, a mixed bag. Some low settings, some medium settings, and a couple of high settings just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, as you can see when you're fighting at the, the back of the pack, it certainly dips down. But I really have struggled to get usable settings. Now I'm running entirely on battery here, so I think if you plugged into power you might get slightly more stable. FPS, but that's not really the point. This is a handheld, so you need to be playing it handheld. And you're not going to be tethered to plug at all times. And as you can see, I've got 20 minutes left of battery. Oops, maybe pay more attention to the road than the, uh, the counter at the top of the screen. So what I can say is I'm running 720p. And the Steam Deck's built in FSR. And I've set it to stretch, I think. We'll see that in a moment. Just to fill the screen out, because I don't like the black bars at the top and the bottom. As you can see, once you've uh, got yourself to the front, it stabilises quite a bit. But then, how often do you spend at the front? Oh dear. Uh, last lap I had an excuse. I was looking at the top of the screen, but that lap I had no excuse. Just bad driving. Now what you could do, as you've seen, this is not really dipping below 40, so what you could do is you could set a frame, lim frame limiter of 40, save a bit of power, and actually have a pretty good experience. I just don't think 60s is doable these days. Maybe in a, an update, we might see a bit more luck. So, what we'll do now is I'll just show you what versions of the system I'm running. So, I'm running the main OS update channel and the, the beta for the, the Steam client. I'm currently on OS version 3.5. Um, and you can see the other settings here. As for the power settings and performance, we have got frame rate limit set to 60, refresh is 60, so I would say maybe drop that down to 40 and just keep it locked at that. I'm also just letting you use as much power as it likes and we're using stretch for FSR. And it seems to work pretty well. We'll just continue past here. 
and I'll show you the settings in game. Oh, a lovely pair of pink pants. Nice. Okay. So in settings. As you see, 720p, I've got frame rate as at 60, V-Sync's on, full screen is off, doesn't make much difference. Motion blur's off, that's personal preference. And if we go into the advanced settings, I've got a custom preset that I've set up. Anastrophic filter and set to medium, night shadow's off, shadow quality high, motion blur low, environmental texture medium, static geometry quality medium, dynamic geometry quality medium, two times MSAA, and that really helps with the, the jaggy lines. FXA is off, SSAO is off, reflection quality is low, windshield reflection quality is medium, mirror quality low, world car level of detail is high. So those two settings together, the windshield and the car level of detail really makes the car look pretty good. Deformable, deformable terrain is set to high, SSR quality low, lens effect is off, shader quality is medium, particle effect is medium, and that's it. So for a mostly 60 FPS, or a rock solid 40 FPS. Those are the settings I would use. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now. If you're still watching, do you know what I mean? Level quality is really nice. This car is nuts. <laughs> That's how you take shortcuts. <laughs> I just saw a place I recognised. I'm not I'm not really caring about that but there. No. Oh yeah, yes. Ha, <laughs> that's hilarious. Oops. Randomly pushing buttons. That little house over the river. There's a place in Cumbria like that. The layout's slightly different. But... Okay.
Hmm. I that's so hard I to jump. Break the front a little bit though. <laughs> Thanks for watching.